You've purchased your first firearm. Well done. Everybody, go ahead and give this awesome person a round of applause and welcome them into the Second Amendment community. Awesome. You did it. Good job. All right, now everybody be quiet. Now before you take that little sucker home with you and stick it in a drawer, put it in a corner just to never practice with it, you're really gonna wanna get some good formal training that's especially gonna cover the safety measures that you're gonna need to know. Whether it's online or in person, it really doesn't matter as long as it's with someone who has a high level of knowledge on what they're teaching. Now don't click off this video yet because I'm going to equip you with some mindset stuff that's going to help you understand the importance of going and getting that training. Because you are not only gaining head knowledge with it, but as you implement it and practice with it, you are going to reach higher levels of competency that it's going to translate this skill with that firearm. So make sure you stick with us because you will not want to miss it. If this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Parker, and if you're new to firearms and want to learn more about them, then you've come to the right place. If you're not subscribed already, then subscribe for more infotainment like this to help you on your journey. I did a video on this channel a while back on one thing irresponsible gun owners are neglecting. Can you guess what that is? It's training. Training. Listen, if you are neglecting training with your firearms, you are not being a responsible gun owner. I've told this to people before, that by simply owning a firearm isn't doing you a bit of good if you're not training with it. It's easy to build up a false sense of security just by owning a firearm and not having the skills to back it up. This is one of those mindset things that we have to admit to ourselves that just because we have a plan in our heads of what would happen during XYZ, then we would do 1, 2, 3, but without any real skills or higher levels of competency, we're pretty much fantasizing at that point. Now, we are all guilty of this to some degree, so don't interpret this as a, yeah, that Range Rulers guy on YouTube's, what is his name, Patrick or Parker or something like that, whatever, he thinks he's a hot shot, gets everything right. That's not what I'm trying to portray here. We just have to inwardly evaluate ourselves from a practical standpoint, that way we can acknowledge our weaknesses and gain the wisdom and knowledge that we need to take those better steps forward. Comment down below if I'm just a big fat meanie on the internet who's trying to crush everybody's dreams of being Rambo. Guys, I hope there was at least one thing you were able to take from this video that helped you today. Go ahead and go back and watch that other video that I referenced earlier in this video because there's some additional information I believe is really going to help you. I'll be sure to have that video linked down below. Thanks for watching this Ranger List video. My name is Marker, I mean Parker. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one.